last thing we can America afford against to another world. American. Uh, We've been successful as a nation. The most striking moment in Tuesday night's presidential debate came when President Obama and Mitt Romney argued over when the president had declared the Libya attacks a, quote, act of terror. Have a look. The day after the attack, Governor, I stood in the Rose Garden and I told the American people in the world that we were going to find out exactly what happened, that this was an act of terror, and I also said that we're going to hunt down those who committed this crime. I think it's interesting the president just said something which, which is that on the day after the attack he went to the Rose Garden and said that this was an act of terror. That's what I said. You said in the Rose Garden the day after the attack it was an act of terror. It was not a Please spontaneous proceed. demonstration. Is that what you're saying? Please proceed, Governor. I, I, I want to make sure we get that for the record because it took the president 14 days before he called the attack in Benghazi an act of terror. Get the transcript. It, 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 he did, in, in fact, sir. So let me, let me call it an act of Can terror. Can you say that a little louder, Candy? He, he, he did call it an act of terror. It did as well take, it did as well, uh, take uh, two weeks or so uh, for the whole idea of there being a riot out there about this tape uh, to come out. You're it, correct this, about that. The president seemed to get the better of the exchange with the moderator backing up his side of the story. But Candy Crowley's comments were not entirely accurate. Let's look at the transcript of the September 12th comments in the Rose Garden, just as the president suggested. It shows that the president did refer to, quote, acts of terror, but not specifically in reference to the Libya attack. Instead, he made a broader statement about American defiance. No acts of terror will ever shake the resolve of this great nation, alter that character, or eclipse the light of the values that we stand for. You can make the case that Mr. Obama was referring to the Libya attack here, but I think the stronger argument is that he did not specifically refer to the attack as an act of terror, just as Romney said. Libya was supposed to be a good issue for Romney in this debate, thanks to the administration's questionable handling of the aftermath of the attacks. Instead, thanks to a questionable interpretation of the facts, it ended up being President Obama's strongest moment. I'm Brian Montopoli for CBSNews.com, and thank you for watching Due Diligence.